Hey, what's going on guys? So last time here at Extreme Exotics, we got to meet Chompers, who is the world's friendliest bobcat. Well, there is so much more to see here, like these guys, the lemurs. So Sabrina is gonna take us around and introduce us to all the lemurs that are here at the Extreme Exotics Foundation, and we are gonna learn what it's like to be living with lemurs. <laughs> So Sabrina, we're going in with the lemurs. What can I expect here? Um, you can expect to be jumped on, climbed on, probably scratched up a bit, maybe nibbled on, hopefully not pooped on, and lots of cuteness. All right, so like any nightclub in any college town in the U.S. Pretty Got much. it. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, hi, buddy. Hi, come here. Come here. Look at this. Oh my God, these guys are absolutely this is adorable. This hazel and autumn. They are red rough lemurs from Madagascar. There you go. Look at these guys. These guys are so beautiful. Oh, one going behind me. Mm -hmm. Hey, you just uh, be on your best behavior there, buddy. Look at her, look at her. Yeah. Uh, they like to be pet on their underarms. It's quite funny. On their underarms? Their okay. underarms are the spot. Oh, good God. I just got whacked in the head. My sweet girls. Oh, my God. My these sweet are girls. Amazing. Oh, hello. Oh, you dirty hands off my face. <laughs> so this right here with the stretch of the arm, okay, they love here, the I'll underarms. Stretch, there I'll you go, see? There. Oh, look at that, <laughs> they love it. So this is one that a lot of people think they want as a pet as well. Yep. Um, these girls are both less than two years old. So strong possibility in another two years, we won't be able to do this. Right. Um, and people just don't seem to really understand that. Not to mention one of the nastiest poops in the animal kingdom. Oh, there you go. Yeah, very, very, go. very nasty poops. Oh. Not an indoor animal by any point or any any means. I may need um, to take the Pepsi challenge with these guys. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> and they're social too. So a lot of people think they're gonna get just one as a pet. Um, and that's just not fair to the animal. They, right. do, they really need one of their own kind to hang out with. Excuse you, <laughs> stealing my phones and stuff. And that's, you know, you go to some zoos and mm -hmm. other, you know, maybe some private collections and you see that they have one in an enclosure and everybody's ooing and eyeing and yeah. I'm sitting there thinking, oh, that poor guy. As you should. Yeah. Because Hi, even sweetheart. if they... <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. I, got a, I got a little buddy here. Hi, come here. <laughs> She's like, oh no, now I'm on camera. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, it's like, even if somebody spends, you know, a lot of time with that one lemur and that lemur's bonded to them, you're not with it 24-7 mm -hmm. and it does not relate to you like it relates to one of its own kind. Right. No matter what bond it has with you, it's never going to be the same bond that they have with another of their same kind. Right. So it does really bother me when I see one lemur or a lemur in a house that's a baby, you know, walking around in diapers because in five years, it's going to be a different animal. Absolutely. Yeah. We have another pair um, that is very friendly right now, but when they go into breeding mode or they have babies, we cannot even get into the enclosure to clean it. Sure. So we have to actually build a lockdown area for them for when they're in breeding season. And that's not even a year round thing. So sometimes they're friendly and sometimes we could get our faces bit off. Right. Um, they're not going to show you their teeth, but they really can do some damage. So it's just not an animal I recommend as a pet at all. And so as they get older, they get more kind of antisocial. They is can. That's the best way to say that. They I guess. can. It's almost, it's just a maturity thing. It's right. like the hormones kick in. It's right. And when those hormones kick in, you're fighting nature. And let me tell you, when you're fighting nature, who's going to win? Not you. Not you. So right. it's even if you get a good go with them being friendly and, and interacting with people, it doesn't mean they're going to stay that way. Exactly. And yeah. they're just extremely agile. So if they come at you, you're not getting away from it. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, they are right. just, I mean, you see how they jump and how they move. You know, they are pretty untouchable if they want to be. These are awesome. And then look at this, Madeline over here, your camera girl is getting all sorts of groomed and loving over here. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This, this guy loves me. <laughs> This is what and makes people you. want them. Right. It is. Because they're, so they're like this. Because they're like this right now. Yes, I know. <laughs> hey, um. Can, no. Just cleaning you up. I know, but leave oh. the glasses. Oh, no. no, my image. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. If you, if you stop for a second, I'll put these on you. <laughs> oh, you're. <laughs> No nibbles. Okay. No nibbles. No nibbles. I just got my head bitten by no a. No nibbles. 
and slobbered and how's my hair? My hair good? Is there, we're all good? All right. Hey, you. Watch the fluffy Hi. thing. Hi. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't touch the fluffy thing. <laughs> oh, my God. So many lemurs. So many lemurs. <laughs> all right. Excuse me, guys, while I kind of clean up my hair and make myself look more camera presentable. Glass is still there. Image good. Whew. So this one, like, I have a windsock that knocks out all the wind noise on my camera right there. And this one, like Chompers before, just loves that windsock. And so he's paying more attention to the windsock than he is to anything else. But man, these guys are so adorable. And their paws, underneath their paws, it's like kind of like leather. I mean, it feels like the most supple leather. They're so soft. Yeah. Oh, look at those licks. Okay, I am madly in love with lemurs right now. These are amazing. I could spend all day just sitting here playing with these lemurs, but there's so many other lemurs here to see. So we're going to say goodbye to these guys and we're going to go into another enclosure and play with some more lemurs. This is Angel. This is Leroy Hi, Angel. He's an attention hog. Such an attention hog. So this one's Leroy. Leroy's going to, you know, be a YouTuber here. Hey, my angel girl. Come here. Come here. Let me have you. <laughs> oh, there she is. And now these are uh, black and white ruffs? Yeah, so these are actually, a, it's what's called a tricolor, but it's a black and white ruffed crossed yeah. to a red ruffed. Um, both ruffed lemurs. Leroy was our first. That's why he's a bit of an attention hog. You really can't give one attention without giving him right, attention. Right, right. And so I'm glad to have more than one person in here finally that you can get entertained and I can spend time with my angel girl. Absolutely. This is actually the daughter to the two over there that you first filmed. Yep, this yep. is their daughter. Uh, and so it worked out really well that we had that pair, her, we had Leroy. It worked out well that everybody got to have a friend. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And Angel is just the sweetest thing. That is fantastic. And I don't know that yeah. she'll stay sweet, but I hope she does. I know, with those hormones She's, kicking I in. know, I'm like, what are you going to be like in four years? Because oh. you're so wonderful now. <laughs> it's sad that they don't stay alive. It is, lovely. yeah, it is. It is. It sucks, but it's another one of those expectations that people that breed and sell lemurs as pets will not tell you right so that's part of what we built this facility for it's part of why i started my channel is because i wanted to be able to tell people the truth absolutely you know because it's not fair to the animal right people buy these as a little baby at eight weeks old and they raise it and they think it's just going to be great and it's not fair that the animal if it becomes unfriendly ends up living in a small cage inside alone right um and they're very difficult to clean up after so it's very difficult to keep them clean indoors right which a lot of people that have them as pets keep them indoors I don't know how or why. Right. Um, so that's part of why we did this, because we want to be able to tell people, yes, they're awesome, but they're not going to always be this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Leroy Jenkins. Hi, Leroy. And the fluffy thing. Oh, yes, yeah, such a fluffy. Everyone likes the fluffy thing. Such a proof. <laughs> Is that a thing? I just made that word up. I like Did that. I make that word what up? What did just I make now? up? I think earlier? I just made that word up. Interactment. Interactment and, Interactment and ploof. And ploof. <laughs> We're, we are inventing our own language that is only understood by <laughs> this the is lemurs. The Clark Kaufman Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, these guys are just amazing. So what are we feeding these guys? Yeah, so they're mostly fruit eaters. Um, we do a lot of organic fruits because some of the store-bought fruits are so high in sugar that it's actually causing lemurs in captivity to get diabetes. Ah, so we've started mixing in a lot more veggies, organic fruits. They do eat greens, so I like that they eat you know, salad and things like sure. that as well. And then we also do a monkey biscuit that's like a zoological biscuit from right, Missouri. Right and bananas and all that good stuff. But we've definitely pushed more towards vegetables in the last year or so, just with the findings that they're coming out with about the diabetes. Right, that is an issue. All right, so who are we about to meet here? You're gonna meet uh, our young male, Red Ruff Lemur, who will eventually go with the girls up front. Um, we're excited about that breeding program because they're a critically endangered species. But this little boy, he's a little too small to go with the girls. In the lemur world, the, the females rule the roost. So we're letting him get a little bigger so he can hold his sure. own with the girls. Okay. Uh, and of course, we didn't want him to be alone. So he has two very special roommates. He's got our little Munt Jack Deer oh, in with yes, him, yes. and they are the best buds. This is the cutest trio that you're going to see. Okay, all right, we got to go in. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, so just come in and squat down. Come in and squat. Oh, look at that. 
Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi, sweeties. Look at these guys. And they like it under the chin. Come Hi, here. Babies. Come here, there lemur. She is. And what's the lemur's name? Uh, we haven't decided yet. Um, right I now, I just call him Punk because he's a little punk. I think his name is now Dave. Dave. His name is now Dave. <laughs> his name is Dave. Oh, Hazel yes. and Autumn and Dave. And Dave. <laughs> And you have to spell it correctly. D A Dov. Well, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave here mm -hmm. loves his two little dear friends. Yeah. So you know, really, uh, lemurs live in the trees. Normally, they would sleep up high, right. up in the treetops. But when I come in in the morning, they will be in the doghouse on the ground together. There will come out a deer, and then there will come out a lemur, <laughs> and then there will come out another deer. The best part of having them together is that the deer clean up after Dave. It is hands down the best thing about having. Yes, they're providing him with company, yes. uh, but their cleanup capabilities is, is hands down. Oh, look at these guys. They're so cute. Look at these They're guys. So cute. Hi. And they all sleep together in their little they do. Uh, house over there. They do. Oh, the man. lemur chooses to sleep with the deer instead of up in the trees. Oh, that is fantastic. It is. It's wonderful. Come here, come here, oh. come here, come here, come here. Dave's feisty. Yeah, I am. Dave's feisty. Hi, sweeties. I know. Oh, Look at these babies. They're very interesting. You see these nostrils they've got here yeah, and then yeah. on the eyes as well. So now, did you just think to put him in here because it's a tall enclosure, you've got all sorts of enrichment for mm -hmm. him in here, and yeah. then, you know, the deer obviously don't climb, so he mm -hmm. has all of that up there. Yep. And then all of a sudden, they just became the best of friends? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really is just a temporary space for him to get acclimated to us, let him get a little bit bigger, uh, and we didn't want him to be alone, and so we were sitting here racking on our brains, you know, should we try him with Leroy and Angel, but he's a boy, we don't want Leroy right, to fight right. with him. Um, and so we were really just trying to figure out what can we do so that he's not alone, and we just thought, let's just see, let's just see what right, happens. Right. And man, we put them in here and he was like, he instantly liked them. Oh. It was the cutest thing. And now the fact that the, all three of them sleep together, I just love it. So we would like to try and work them into his permanent enclosure as well. Right. All right, Dave, do this, do this. Rattle, rattle, where, where are you going? <laughs> where, what? Seriously though, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna put all of Sabrina's links for her YouTube channel in the description below. Go check her out as well. She really has an awesome channel, but until the next animal adventure, love the planet and rattle on.